What's going on guys? That dude survives. Peace. How you hanging? Um, this is really more so of a test of the new video camera that I got. Um, you can see, not using the flip right now. Not retiring the flip. Great camera by far, but uh, just trying something a little different. Uh, what I'm using is a Sanyo Xacti, uh, I think the GH2. Um, full on, I can get up to 1080p on it. So, you know, we'll see if that really makes a difference in the quality of the videos or anything. But, figure while I was out here testing it out, um, I'm out here just making some targets. Uh, got Infinite Banger coming through again next week. Uh, some other folks, you know, coming in after that, actually. Um, what I did, I took the, uh, the, the silhouette that I normally use, um, which this is an NRA silhouette. Um, I just cut out around the edges of the actual body. Um, but what I did, I chopped off the bottom of it right below the seven ring because I figured there was no point in really, you know, having all of that extra extra space down there. I figure if it's dropping below the seven ring, it's not a good shot anyway, so it'll just be off paper. Um, and also what I did, um, which would kind of help with, uh, uh, you know, quick point shooting, was I cut out the hole of the nine ring, um, which I know a lot of times I use the eight inch um, circles, which I'll still be using those, but you know, now when I'm shooting silhouettes, instead of having to go and mark the target or anything like that, I have a center of mass, a, a large area that represents the center of mass that I want to be able to get on target and, and, uh, and be able to uh, put, the, put the shots on target relatively quickly uh, without just a tiny little orange dot or going and putting a circle on a full, on a full body silhouette. It's kind of built in. Um, so now this is, uh, this is what they look like. Um, I like the black outline. It contrasts well. Of course, the wind wants to blow. It contrasts well with the uh, with the brown. Um, if I can get this up here, yeah, that's a good shot. See, I have a viewfinder on this camera too. I can actually see what I'm doing, so I don't keep chopping my head off, uh, chopping my head out of the videos. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Um, like I said, so this pretty much represents the nine ring. No, it's not a sharp edge around, but I figure you know if it's if it's in it, I'll, you know, or out of it, you can tell within reason. Um, I'm not going to gripe over a millimeter here or there for an exact line of if, if it's in or out. Um, so yeah, so uh, you know, if you guys want to save money, um, you know, instead of buying those NRA targets and whatnot, I like to use these. And on a range, instead of having to worry about um, uh, cardboard backings, I just use plywood. I actually, I got like nine of these plywood sheets um, that were getting thrown out um, uh, doing some renovations. And you know, I'll use these. The good thing is with, with the plywood or even the particle uh, the particle board or the uh, uh, MDF, you can leave it outside, you know, in the rain. You don't have to always take it down. Um, you know, cardboard, if you leave it out, it's gonna get soggy, it's gonna fall apart. The wood, it doesn't do that. Um, I mean, I may have to change out my wood backings, uh, generally more so because of the, uh, the damage from the rounds, you know, blowing the wood apart. Maybe every, you know, maybe four to six months, depending on what's getting hit. I had a buddy of mine that, like to blow through some with the shotgun shells before I was like, okay, this isn't going to work. Those will go a lot faster, but shooting nine millimeters, forties, uh, definitely 22s, 223. Um, it takes a while to really beat them up. And I think, you know, uh, time wise, if you have your own plate to shoot, you might want to, you know, look at just having, uh, plywood or MDF backings and then just getting this stuff, which is just the painters rolls, um, cardboard painter rolls from, uh, Walmart is like 670 something for I guess like 300 or 500 feet um, They last a long time you get a whole you know whole lot of these targets and I don't change them every time You know as you can see in the videos, you know, I'll go and put the green uh, Green dots on the cover up the hole So you get a lot of uses out of one target and with these you can after I'm done at the range Sometimes I pull them off clean up other times I just leave them out there staple to the board and pull them up later and you know They don't blow away. They don't blow off and like I said, I don't have to worry about cardboard backings and things like that falling apart and littering up the range. Um, so that was just a little bit. Um, like I said, it was a short video. Just wanted to test out the camera, figure out say what's up to you guys out there. Uh, show you what I'm doing. Uh, shout out to Infinite Banger and uh, all the other folks out there on YouTube. Um, so outside of that, I'll probably catch y'all later in another video. Uh, until then, be safe, happy shooting. That do Raj. Peace.